Hi Virgo, welcome to your What They Can't Get Over reading for July 20th through August 19th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout outs. I have two, the Cancerian channel and White Light Astrology. Much love and support to them and hopefully you get a chance to stop by and check them out and show them some love if you like what they have to say. That just came out Virgo. Knight of Swords, we got Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right. If it's not an Aquarius, it could be any air sign, it could be Libra or Gemini, or anybody, male or female, that is a very take charge, kind of rogue personality. Um, it could be that there, there's going to be an unexpected uh, meeting. Someone's going to unexpectedly show up, or that this could also be indicative of someone kind of starting to get a bit assertive about what they want and wanting to have a truthful conversation about something. All right. Um, I was going to say something else now. I forgot. Oh, this is, I intend for this to be a romantic love read, and this may resonate in other areas of your life, such as work, family, career, job, friends, other than romance. All right. It may resonate otherwise. Virgo. Or Virgo. Ace of Wands. Just a second. Water. Oh dear. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that. Spilled everywhere. <laughs> Good gracious. Clean some stuff up here. Oh, my clumsy hands spilled. Part of me. Here. Okay. Got the lovers, five of wands, ten of swords, queen of cups, tower, the star, king of wands. All right. Also got the King of Swords, the Three of Wands. Not this over here, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so let's see here. Let me check this out. King, two kings, lovers. Interesting. Seven, eight. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice progression. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's. So you, um, Virgo, there might be new knowledge that you are coming into or new realization, new awareness. You might be talking to those that you trust about this. Someone in particular um, could be an older maternal or paternal figure, somebody that you trust, that you think of as wise counsel. This could even be seeking out therapy, doctor, friend, um, somebody that's an expert in the field to help you navigate your feelings about this because you you're, you're might be wanting to get a handle on this, either figure out your feelings or what next steps are, or it could be somebody that you trust to talk to, just a friend, like what happened, what do you think happened, that sort of thing. So, all right. It looks like Virgo that there is a new love interest and this is somebody that is having trouble with that. That you just basically found somebody else and walked away. They're having trouble with that. That they, this could have been an online relationship. Um, it was either largely online, there, there could have been distance involved. Look at this, we got eight of cups, three of wands. Um, the star card. I mean, this is this could be about distance, uh, online relationship here that someone's just really quite sad because you have decided to move on, to end this and move on. 
or they have realized that they weren't the only one that perhaps they weren't that special and that they just feel like you just up and bailed or discarded them they would have liked to have been the person you chose instead of having more than one person or just not you know they wanted to be with you they saw you as their person What's this lovers about? There's an eight of cups twice. Ouch. Yeah, walking away from what they felt like was real potential to eventually be able to make that, you know, take the relationship to the next step. And this is someone who is uh, really quite sad and is kind of going through the motions right now. Um, we got the angel twice. So this is someone that's really trying with the seeking answers. I mean, if they're not asking friends or family or an expert to help them through this, they're going within and seeking divine connection to, to make their own, come to their own conclusions and connect to source or spirit and work this out. They're quite sad about this. What's this five of wands? So that's a six of wands right there. What's this 10 of swords? Ten of Swords. Hermit. This is Queen of Cups. It says Tower. Oof. Could be Scorpio. We got Scorpio, Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. What's this Tower about for Virgo? Seven of Wands. So we got five of Wands, six of Wands, seven of Wands. Oof. No, there. This is. This could very well be someone that's just still. You know, if we, at least if we fight about it and clear the air and argue, it's just a misunderstanding. Anything to keep you in communication with them. They just listen to me, talk to me. Don't cut me off. Don't abandon me. Don't walk away. And they, they're still quite emotional about it. And they, they really wanted this commitment with you. They really wanted this with you, Virgo. And they just are, they, they know that you're on to your next passionate pursuit. And they are having a really hard time getting over that. What's this star card about? Yeah, they want, look at this healing, healing. That's angels. Mm. And this is someone that is probably withdrawn um, only to, it's, there's a lot of back and forth here. They might withdraw and then they might all of a sudden, because a lot of times in talking about it, talking, 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 it keeps you from hurting, right? Because it gets it out and it, it kind of at least keeps the dust swirling. But it's in those quiet moments when we're feeling the devastation or just feeling in general, that's when it's like, oh, I got to call somebody. I got to talk to somebody. I, I can't have this in my head anymore. It's driving me nuts. And so there's back and forth. If they're not reaching out to you to, to let's work this out, let's hammer this out, come on, let's talk, then it's other people that they're just they're just wanting to talk because not talking hurts. What's this star card about? Knight of Pentacles. Could be Taurus. What's this King of Wands about? Okay, so they're looking to you to reestablish the order and stability and trustworthiness and prove to them that, you know, they're looking for you to be their person. We got the lovers and we got the emperor here. They're wanting you to make it happen. They're wanting you to be that person that they look up to, that they can trust, that they feel like all is right with the world because I found my rock. And they really want you to be that for them. And they kind of thought that that's where it was headed. You know, we got the Ace of Pentacles here and this Queen of Cups and that there was that really strong emotional connection that would just lead to a really solid basis for you two. And it's, it is not meant to be, apparently. And we, I mean, this very well could be because of distance. So we got Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, Star. They want you to, yeah, ouch. Okay. What would Virgo, let's see, what would Virgo's person say to them? What would Virgo's person say to them? Maybe we're just too different. That could be 
among the many rationalizations that they could be having or talking about with people, this could be, but this just feels like somebody longing for you and wanting to know what happened and wanting to still kind of talk or fight because at least it's something, some kind of connection with you. They just feel like you walked away from this fabulous connection that they had with you and they just are having a hard time with it. What else for Virgo? Ten of Wands. This was a relationship, quite possibly, that it, this is either harvest or punishment. So on the one hand, they might have thought, like, this is going to be something really great. Like, we're going to have it all, and we're going to do it all, and we're going to be that couple. You know, because I feel that connection with this person, and there's we just got so much ahead of us that we can do and go and see. And But at the same time, if it is long distance, it's a lot of work. And maybe they're, this is all part of that grieving process, like them trying to come to terms with it. Like maybe we're just too different and maybe the distance was, you know, if it's not physical distance, it's emotional distance, but maybe the, that was just too much. And maybe because they're trying to come up with a reason why, because then at least if they know the reason why, then they can shoot it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, well, we can figure that out. Okay. I'll move towards you. If that's it. You know what I mean? Like they just, they're not ready to let this ending stand yet. So it's. It's weighing pretty heavily on them. And at this point, they, you know, it might've been a lot of work, but they see it as being worth it. But at the same time, it, they might be starting to understand that, you know, this, maybe we were just too different. Maybe it was a lot of work. Maybe, maybe, you know, because, but then they go right back to wanting to clear the air and work it out. So they're getting there. They're just having a hard time. Um, and they, they, uh, let's, they, I think it goes without saying that if you were to come back and offer stability or what specifically, what they really want to happen specifically is for you to say, okay, we're broken up for now. Things have to be this way. Now they have to be stagnant. Now there has to be like nothing but just, you know, if you're, they have, things have to be where they're at now, either not moving forward or I've got things I got to take care of over here. But in time, like, give me a year to sort something out and then we can have our new beginning. We can have our stable offer. So, you know, I know it, it's kind of hard right now and, and I have to do this. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. But, you know, in time, over time, things will be better and things will be able to progress forward. But right now, we're stuck and it has to be this way. That's what they would like you to say to them. And they're in, uh, yeah, this is them going round and round about this ending with you. There you are, Virgo. All right. What else for Virgo? So we got the, no, we got the six of swords moving on. Ooh, and the 10 of, no, it's a nine. What was that? That was like this, right? Was it? So we got the six of swords and then the nine of swords reversed. And so this is you leaving drama behind. So perhaps it is just now dawning on this person, the work that went into it, but also kind of might be that this person was a bit clingy, especially if this is saying that you need to move on and leave the drama behind and leave behind the emotions of this situation. This is somebody that might have been kind of drama, but to be fair, if you've had your heart broken, you might be a little dramatic. So, if you thought you had your forever person and that went to the wayside that, you know, they might not be doing so well for right now. Maybe they need six more months and then they'll be okay. But so, but this is as far as what you need to do or what you should do in this situation, this is you keeping on, keeping on. This is you continuing to um, move through this situation, the emotional difficulty of this situation with logic and intuition, but keeping your emotions out of it and just moving on. Um, and this could also be moving away another movement card moving 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 no moving where is it moving moving so this could be a physical location move also for you that you if you haven't yet you need to if not emotionally move on maybe physically move on as well and leave this drama behind resolve the issue by just cutting it off either emotionally or logistically you probably already know that 
That's why this person is here. You probably already done that. Maybe this is just confirmation for you. Okay, all right. What else was I gonna do? I was gonna do something else. Wasn't I gonna do something else? Did I do everything? I guess I did. Oh no, I did. One, two, three. I did. Okay, all right. Thank you for stopping by, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.